Alright, well the first thing I do want to say is I hope everyone had a really good Easter, had some time off, spent some time with their families, I certainly did, so hopefully everyone else did as well, but there's a new abandoned car in Need for Speed Payback, or I probably shouldn't call it new, it's not new, it's one of the same six cars for the third time, this time it's the BMW M3, but it is in a new car class, so that's different, that's new. You're going to get a runner build this time, level 170, that's what it will be when you get it. So, fast travel, start at the drift dealership, the green dealership, like I'm showing you right here. And the GPS way is not, it's not the easiest way. <laughs> it's not the quickest way, I should say, but the route that I just showed you with my, I always call it a fidget spinner, that's certainly the quickest way. Basically, just turn right, right out of the drift dealership and just stay to your right the entire time. By far the fastest way, you might come across a bait crate. That was one thing I noticed, I saw that as I drove by today. But this copper suit, since it was a runner build, very easy. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't get busted, so don't get too confident and think you can just go and just drive right to the garage and get away with this thing for free, because it's certainly not that simple. But I didn't have any kill switcher cop cars, and also... The BMW being a runner build is like a tank. I just nonchalantly plowed through a few cops and I wasn't even trying to like destroy them. So the runner builds, when they're in abandoned car runner build form, they're very powerful. Just keep that in mind. You can definitely bump and bru bruise the cops a lot. So I'm in my Mazda RX-7 here. This is my third Mazda RX-7. This is my favorite one. I made one green. It was kind of for the Eagles. Now I got an orange one for my Philadelphia Flyers hockey team, and I love this thing a lot. I love the way I customized it. I was thinking about maybe trying to come up with a way to put the Flyers logo on here, but I generally don't like to do things like that, so I'm probably not going to, but that's it. This is the location of the BMW M3. Keep in mind, this is from Tuesday, April 3rd. You're going to have until Monday, April 9th, a full week just like always at this point. By the time you see this, you're probably going to have about 12 to 20 hours cut out from that so basically six days a little over six days you have to get this thing this time it's a runner build so it does seem like they're just gonna go through all six cars and give us all five classes that's what i'm thinking even though i think it was the rx7 we got the same class twice so i'm not sure how they're gonna work that but it's really not worth buying these things from the dealerships at this point because we're gonna get them for free anyways so let me know what you think. Are you kind of annoyed just seeing these same cars over and over, which I I think it's a little dumb. I would like to see some new abandoned cars, but hey, I'm kind of happy to get them in the different classes because they certainly feel different. I mean, this one, it sucks in off-road and not a very good drift car either for sure. So I'd say if anything, I, I thought it was a race build at first, but then I realized... Yeah, I'm killing cops a lot, so it's got to be a runner build, but that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you the location of this car. You'll see proof that it is a runner build at the end of this copper suit, and hopefully you'll enjoy this copper suit gameplay. I, I was just a tank just rolling through the streets here, just running over cops like they were nothing. So it was fun. Definitely love when copper suits are like this. So, And it drove nice, too. This BMW drove very nice. Can't wait to build this one, customize it. I think I only did that with my first one. I still have to go back and do my second one right there. I thought I might have got busted, but it, luckily I got bumped from behind really hard from a cop. So it all worked out. I got away. I think that was pretty much the only point where I was even close to getting busted. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it to be helpful or useful. If you have any questions at all, please just let me know. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll talk to you all again very soon. Peace.
So, you found a BMW M3 Evolution 2 E30. They only built 500 of these retro speed demons. It's a killer on the track, so imagine what it can bring to a street race.